att få presentera Nobelpristagaren i fysiologi eller medicin. Nobirugaku Seirigaku Sho, Josho Shanokatao, Gosho Kai, de Kiru Kotowa, Taihen Kuei Des. It is a great honor to introduce the Nobel laureate in physiology or medicine, Professor Tasuku Honjo. James Allison och de får priset för en ny sorts behandling av cancer. Your Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses, Excellencies, Dear Laureates, Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Professor Jim Allison and myself, I wish to express our heartfelt appreciation to the Nobel Assembly of the Karinska Institute and the Nobel Foundation. Cancer has been the number one cause of death during the last half century. The trend is getting even worse as the average lifespan increases. The concept of cancer immunotherapy was theoretically proposed by the Australian Nobel laureates Sir Frank McFarlane Barnett over 60 years ago. Since then, a large number of people have tried to apply it, but without success. This was probably because their efforts focused on pushing the accelerator of the immune system. Jim and I independently discovered the reactivation of the immune system by blocking two major negative regulators, CTL4 and PD-1, can cure a significant portion of cancer patients. Fortunately, our experiment in mouse models was successfully applied to humans. As a result, Jim and I have experienced many occasions that have made us feel well rewarded such as meeting cancer patients who say their lives were saved by our therapies. Cancer immunotherapy is possible because we have a highly sophisticated immune system called acquired immunity, which can catch small changes in tumor cells. How could we develop such a sophisticated immune recognition system that employs gene rearrangement. The genetic rearrangement mechanism must have evolved accidentally, probably about 500 million years ago when vertebrates evolved. Thereafter, it must have persisted through natural selection due to the advantage of surviving infectious diseases. Considering that chance of such mutation and selection must be unbelievably low, we human beings are all very fortunate. Jim and I both know that development of our discovery is just beginning. As currently, only 20 to 30 percent of patients respond to the immunotherapy. Andy Cogram and Dan Chen described our discovery as the cancer equivalent of penicillin, which gave rise to a generation of antibiotics that changed the medicine 
and consign most previously fatal infections to history. We encourage many more scientists to join us in our efforts to keep improving cancer immunotherapy. We sincerely hope this treatment will reach far and wide so that everybody on our planet can benefit from this evolutionary gift for healthy life. Jim and I acknowledge that we are selected for this highest of the all scientific honors. We accept the distinction with our deepest gratitude. Gratitude for the great institutions that have supported our work, for our many devoted and skilled co-workers, without whom our achievements would have been impossible. And finally, for Alfred Nobel, for his Wisdom Institute the Prize, and the people of Sweden for fantastic Nobel Week. Thank you.